What is abstraction in programming? Well, it's a big, long, fancy word that simply means every little block of code or function or method that you write should do a bunch of stuff, as we might expect. But that stuff is relatively unimportant to the input and the output. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I just want to give in some input and I just want to get out some output. I do not care what goes on in here. And that's abstraction. Abstraction simply means I'm hiding stuff away from the user or the programmer. So if we think about this in terms of, let's say you're in a big software development team. And your job is to write the bit that gets data from the server. And then it's someone else's job to show the data on a screen. So they're going to communicate with you and say, please go get this. And you'll say, no problem, I'll go get it. And off you go to the big bad world of the internet, which returns you the data. Now, the guy writing this display code doesn't really care how you get the data. He just wants to say to you, get me some data. And then it's up to you to get that data however you do it. It doesn't matter. That's the whole point. This software guy doesn't need to know how you get it. You just simply go and get it from the internet. And then you, of course, return it to the display guy. And that's what abstraction is. It's hiding away functionality. And when you do that, you get this beautiful effect in programming, which is everything starts to become kind of modular. So again, like Lego blocks, we have, say, the view, we have the database, we have the internet, and we have some other guy on your team that doesn't do very much. And they can all kind of talk to each other because they know how to talk in terms of input and output. So as long as your thing, your bit of code accepts a certain input and puts out a certain type of output, everything can talk to each other. And later on, let's say it's three years later, and you discover you've done your bit of data from the internet all wrong and you want to completely rewrite it, well, you can go ahead and do that. And as long as you keep the inputs the same and you keep the outputs the same, that can change and nobody else needs to know your dirty secret that you weren't a very good programmer in the first place.